Here we'll find the regression equation for our wrist and neck measurements by using hand calculations. And here's some of the formulas that we'll use. First we'll look at slope intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. And remember based on our data, y are the neck measurements and x are the wrist measurements. First we'll calculate the slope. And the slope formula is the mean of the x's times the mean of the y's minus the mean of the x times y values. Then we'll take the x mean, we'll square that, and then we'll square the x's and find its mean. Lastly, we'll divide and we will derive the slope. Next, we'll calculate the y-intercept, and the y-intercept b is equal to the mean of the y values minus m, which is the slope from a prior calculation, times the mean of the x values. So to simplify things some and to cut down on some of the calculations, I'll simply use Excel to show how these values are found. So here we have our wrist values, X, and our Y values for the neck measurements. So first we'll find the means for the X values and we'll find the mean for the Y values. So we'll add up all of the X values. So I'll simply use an Excel function, and I want to use the sum function. So I'll simply highlight all of the values that I want to add together, and we get 242. To find the mean, we'll take 242, and we'll divide that by the total number of measurements in our data set, which is 15. I'll shortcut that by using a function. I'll hit equals, average. I'll simply sum up. I'll simply find all the x values we're using. And we get a mean value of 16.133. And just to verify, we can actually take 242. I'll simply bring up my calculator. 242, we'll divide that by 15 and those we get 16.1333 so the mean of our x values are 16.1333 I'll next find the mean value for our y data set so I'll simply hit equals average once again we'll take all those values and we have our Y bar, which is, or we have our Y mean, which is 37.3333. So next we'll find the mean of the X times the Y's. So I'll simply multiply my X values times my Y values. We'll sum up and take the average. So if I go back to Excel, I'm simply going to use another function. I'm going to hit equals. And I want to take the X value times the Y value. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back up to that previous cell. And I'm going to left click on the lower right of the box and drag that down. And once I drag that down, I get all of my X values times all of my Y values. And now in order to find the mean, I'll simply go into the cell below. I'll hit equals average. I'll list all of those values. And we have x times y bar. Looking back at our formulas, we need the x bar squared. So we'll simply take our mean of our x's and we'll square that value. We also need the x value squared and we'll take the mean from that sum. So I'll hit equals. I want to take the x value squared. So I'll raise that to the second power. Once again, I'll drag down to the very end of my column. We'll take all those squared values, and we'll find the average. 
Now we'll enter in all the previously found values. So we have x bar times y bar minus the mean of the x times y's over the mean of the x's squared minus the mean of the squared x's. And once we simplify, we have a slope of 2.13. Now we'll find the y-intercept. So we'll enter in the mean of the y's minus the slope, which we previously found, times the mean of the x's for a y-intercept of 2.96, which gives us a regression equation of the next size is equal to 2.13 times the risk size plus 2.96.